If it's your first time getting a pre-built Fold KB keyboard, I'll walk you through the process and explain some terms. Each keyboard has additions unique to that individual keyboard, which is why there's a video for each pre-built. The Fold KB is in its first revision, so unlike the Iris or Qfrency that give you the choice, there's only the one choice here. Switches. We usually have clicky, tactile, and linear switches to choose from. However, inventory is subject to change, so keep up with our stock through our Trello status board. If you want to send a switches to install in your board, choose the customer supplied option and send some information to us over email. Middle layer. We usually have the clear acrylic or the B stock of that layer. Keep up with our Trello board if something you like is out of stock. Rotary encoders. If you want none or one, this is where you let us know what rotary encoder situation you'd like. Knob for left half. If you selected a rotary encoder for your top left position, choose whether you want the knob for it to be silver or black. Left thumb area. This is where you get to choose if you want three 1U keys, one 1U and two U key, or two 1.5U keys. See the chart about those sizes. Backspace. If you want to have a backspace and delete key, go for the split backspace. If you're vibing with a larger backspace, go for the 2U variant. Backslash pipe key size. Some folks appreciate a larger keycap for this punctuation. You can choose the smaller or larger versions here. Right shift. Similar to left shift, the choice is yours as to whether or not you want a large shift key or two keys. The shift and function. Right thumb area. It looks complicated, but this is giving you the chance to choose your arrangement of keys like the left half USB-C to USB-C cable. We have white and black, and both come in sizes of 30 centimeters and one meter or more. All right, that's it from me. Hope this helps keep your keyboard order smooth. Kayla from Kibio, over and out.